Look up there. Up Andrew Dabb's ass. It's a bird. It's a plot hole. No, it's actually a decently well written episode. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hi guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 3. After the last two pieces of garbage that were given to us, I'm actually quite surprised at how well this episode worked out. And one of the reasons why is because Catch is freaking dead. Oh my god, that was so good to see. Catch has been one of the most useless characters in this show's entire runtime. As a villain character that he was in season 12, he was suitable, but then they just kept bringing him back through some of the worst writing Dab has ever done. His revival still makes absolutely no damn sense. So when his heart got ripped out, I was like, oh, yes. However, there's another death that happens on later in this episode that did admittedly actually upset me a little bit. So this episode was kind of the trilogy end of this hell rising over sort of climax idea. And what happens is Rowena's spell does not help fix the barrier. So Balfagar has a different idea of going down into hell and getting some horn thing. And admittedly, how this episode's framed really makes use of the sets. It actually has some dynamic lighting. It doesn't have some lazy directing. It actually has pretty subpar quality to it. It's not horrible. It's not badly put together. It's middle of the road, but at least we're there rather than when we were before. We see Ketch get killed by the random woman demon that he brought up last episode. But then she goes down and she interrupts the whole horn thing. Which, by the way, Balthagar apparently wanted to suck all the demons into him and basically become a Super Saiyan. And I was like, oh cool, we're gonna lose the best part of Jack in a long time. But then Balthagar kills the demon girl, Castiel kills evil Jack thing. Which is like, oh no, a good character's gone. But at that same token, that's one Andrew Dabb storyline he literally just introduced that gets wrapped up. You want to know what the second one is? The hole is over. Apparently the god problem's over. I imagine this isn't it, but the brothers make it sound like they've solved what god put in front of them. That's what it makes it sound like. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take a step back there, buds. And by the way, he also wraps up Balthagar. Like... What the hell is it with this guy and throwing in many little storylines and never seeing them for, to fruition? The guy can't keep a storyline going. However, how they get the demons back in the hole is actually probably the best part. It works in that prophecy that Sam had to kill Rowena. Not admittedly the best, but I guess what they're trying to implement is that there is no hope and Rowena is so hell-bent on doing it because death told her so. I guess what they're trying to do is draw a cross parallel to how Sam was going to kill Lilith, how uh, Lucifer was going to destroy that town, and the brothers had no chance of stopping him even with a cult. So I guess what they're trying to do is pull this parallel of that it's going to happen no matter what happens, whether it is God who's going to do with it. It's just fate. So that I understand what they're trying to do. Is it pulled across as well as it could have been? Maybe not the best, but still better than what I was expecting from Moena's death. Sam stabs her. She walks towards the gate. There's actually some pretty decent music, the most creative music I've heard from Supernatural in a long time. And she falls into the hole and they save the problem. Castiel and Dean have a moment. Again, Castiel leaves. Again, that storyline is gonna come back again and whatnot. But either way, this episode wasn't horrible, which is what I was expecting, considering how absolutely shitty the last episode was. The fact that Ketch got outside of the barrier, clearly walked past everyone while possessed, and no one batted an eye was just... Oh, that's some really fucking horrible story writing there. I think this episode's not bad, I don't think it's horrible. So I'm going to give the third episode of Supernatural Season 15 a 4 out of 7. Wow, a positive rating. Ooh, I was really afraid I wasn't going to give one out for a while. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys for the next review. Thanks for watching the video. 
you're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. (sniffs) By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. (sighs) To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.